so <coughs> oh gosh <coughs> calm down I listen to talk radio I'm listening <coughs> I'm listening to talk radio and I don't understand like it's conservative radio and the guy's talking to like a liberal guy he's like will you please answer the question I wish I had some water Ugh. It's really hard holding this stupid. <laughs> He's like, answer the question. Do you believe this should happen? Yes or no? I don't want to talk about whatever I'm listening to. Because I don't want to get into talking about. Anyways, okay, rabbit trail. He's like, answer the question. Yes or no? And the liberal's like, oh, well, the policy says this, this, this. Like, it's... like you're not answering the question. You're not. You're pivoting. Like, you know, remember the whole election thing where everybody was pivoting and no, no one's answering any questions? And the host is like, will you please answer the question? Yes or no? Well, no, no, no. He's like, I, I, I don't understand why you won't answer the question. I just, I just imagined him looking like this. Ah! <laughs> I don't understand why you won't answer the question. It's a yes or no question. Anyways, we got to step back. We got to step away for a break. Are you tired of your windows not keeping hot air out and cold air in? Well, call right now for an extra 10% off. Like, it goes right into this commercial. I don't understand. And I swear it's not a recording because you can hear his, the tone of his voice is like the same. It's like, answer the question. Are you tired of your windows? <laughs> I swear. Okay. Man, that was awesome. I wish I could record that. But, you know, I was driving and safety first. <laughs> So I try to post every Friday, but obviously having a baby kind of changes everything. I was going to make a video about evangelism. A couple nights ago, I had a dream of my friend and I evangelizing. And he said, well, that's kind of funny because in the next day or so, I am going to go out. Oh, this lady scared me. So I told him about the dream and he said, well, that's kind of funny because in a couple of days, I'm going to try to go evangelize. So that's where I'm at now in Fort Worth. I haven't, you know, went out on the streets and done this in a in a couple of while. I'm... It's a long story, but... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to record people while I pray. Hey, like, jam the can. Hey, is there something I could pray for you about? We went out there and it was phenomenal. I mean, that's just another time for another story. So I didn't upload that. Then I was gonna make another video about this Nerf war I had. If you put your head in a place that a headshot should not occur, like down here, that's on you. but there's not enough footage there. I have something on my heart that I want to speak about, but before I get to the pinnacle of what I want to talk about, I want to share a testimony, and I want to build up to what I really want to talk about. But before, do you see this thing right here? This changing mat? Okay, this sucker, you see the angle? You see how it's kind of like a little vert ramp or whatever, like a U? Okay, maybe I need to get another changing mat, but when my son pees, it, you know, you try to hold it down with, you know, gloves. Yeah, I wear gloves, by the way, because why not? This is stinking super smart. So you push it down. You're like, oh, no. Psh, psh. But then it, the urine goes down in the middle. It goes underneath his back and his head. It's just like a terrible river. Oh.
is like round two of me trying to film this testimony. I actually finished it a couple days ago and it was just, I was so tired and I was trying to rush and I just felt like it was super lame. <sighs> now that I say that, this better be way better, right? Got my hair cut, I got this wicked fever blister on my face. It was way bad, but thank God for Abriva. I wish this was a sponsored ad, but it's not. Anyways, so this is a testimony. Mark 16, verse 17. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. 2011, gave my life to Jesus. Let's do this, all about it. I started learning, started reading, started um, trying to teach myself what's going on. Six months later, my wife-to-be, girlfriend at the time, Shelly was like, man, every time I come over to your house, I just feel like there's something just wicked dark, like watching me. I'm, I don't understand what that is. I'm like, okay, I don't understand what that is. So my wife's sister was like, hey, we should go over your house and clean the house. I didn't know what that was. I'm like, you wanna help me clean my house? They came over and we started going to room to room, praying over the house. The only way I could describe once we walked in my room, because I was doing all kinds of sinful things in my room, right? We walked in my room and, for, and it was like, it was the only way I could describe it, it was like the air was super thick. Like it was hard to breathe in my room and I could just, I got these goosebumps all over my body. I'm like, what the heck is happening right now, you know? So they started praying over my room and we left my room and it, I still felt like it was the same. So we went in the living room and just to paint the scenery, we're in my house in the middle of the day. All the windows are open. All the blinds are open. The, everything is full of light. And we're kind of talking, I'm like, I don't really know what we're going, but I, I think we're doing something. I get, And I kind of look over to my room, like, yeah, and I see this huge black cloud almost, like, go from my bathroom into my room. It was huge. It wasn't like, well, I think I saw it well out of the corner of my eye. No, I saw this sucker. Massive. Just one side to the other. Scared the crap out of me. They went back in the room and they prayed. I stayed outside and they came back out. We're like, we're gonna pray and fast for a week and when we come back in a week, we'll, we'll do it again. So in this week, the first three days, I slept on the couch because from that point on, I when I would go in my room, it was like I could feel the sucker speaking all kinds of things into my mind that were horrific. And on the day four, I, during this week, I was like leveling up in Jesus' name, like trying to get as much knowledge in me as I could. And after a week, man, we went back in there and we took authority over that thing and we were going at it. You can't stay here in Jesus' name. I bind you in the name of Jesus and I cast you out of this house. You can't touch my family. And that's, it was like, it just, you could, it was almost like it got sucked out of the window. I just want to red pill as many people as I can. Yes, you believe in Jesus, you're saved, but you have the opportunity and the power through the Holy Spirit to take control over your life, to be free from your mind, from your actions, from your mouth. And when we grab on to what God has given us, we can't lose. God has already won the war. No weapon formed against us can prosper. So why don't we use these tools that God has given us to have victory every day in our lives? And so I want to see if you will take the time and just spend time in prayer with God, like God, I've never cast out demons before, but God, if there's something in my house that is not from you, show it to me. And you'll be surprised. <laughs> Have you ever had to cast something out of your house? Have you ever saw a demon possessed person freak out on you? Let me know in the comments below what your stories are. And if it helps you, let me know. If you have any questions, let me know. 